This is an AEG Santo fridge only. Um, they come in a matching set. You get the freezer and the fridge. Now this fridge has got an evaporator coil inside which developed a gas leak. Now I've stripped it already. This is the evaporator coil that they use and it's leaking on the aluminium of the coil. Now I've tried in the past we repair one leak and within a short period it leaks somewhere else. So what I do is I remove this whole evaporator coil and I take two little cold plates. I can't get one cold plate big enough for this but we put these two cold plates, we mount them in here and it's got these panels which once it's in the, the panels actually cover the cold plate so we're going to use this cold plate we we'll take a capillary from here and a suction and we link it up to the existing compressor but now the temperature is controlled through this uh, PC board in the roof and the last one I did I battled to get the right temperature and these plates kept on icing up so eventually I mounted a thermostat on here so what I'm going to do is once I've mounted this here this is the top section of it that fits in there. This is a little fan motor which runs off a low voltage which is connected to the PC board. So what I do is I disconnected the two wires from the fan motor and this is a power supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount that power supply somewhere behind the fridge and just give the low voltage to this fan so it runs permanently. 24 hours out of 24 and then I use on this cold plate I'll mount a little thermostat sensor here which I stick through I mount a thermostat behind it I use a Renko model VT9 and make that Renko VT9 switch the compressor on and off to regulate the temperature the fan gets run through the power supply but I leave the power on so all the lights will still shine here but they won't control the fridge and I find I get a very nice temperature with these two cold plates with the fan running continuously so the only function this PC board will have is the light inside will still work from it and it will show a display of the temperature but the controls are done something else and that's how I convert these AEG fridges I've mounted the two cold plates on this is the suction, the capillary. I've wrapped the capillary around the suction there just to make it easier to get the right charge. I've mounted the thermostat, Renko model VT9. The wire goes out. This is the little low voltage fan motor. I've connected a little cable to it. And this is the original cable that worked it, which we're just going to leave off. This I'm going to mount there and that's going to cover the top and later on we'll cover the bottom pieces there. Okay, we've got it showing 2.2 degrees Celsius on my thermometer. Plus 3 inside on the display and there's the whole fridge assembled together. These two panels, I had to put one little self-tapping screw in there just to hold the panels but you can't see that there's any cold plates behind there and the little fan is spinning from the power supply in the roof. 